Hello, and welcome to this tutorial video on Air Magnet Survey Pro. In today's video, we will cover the planner function. Planner can be used to simulate AP signal propagation for a site before deployment in order to determine optimal AP placement and configuration. In order to best simulate an AP's coverage, we will need to provide information about various attenuating factors within the deployment. I am currently in the planner area of the software. I have my floor plan loaded, and it is calibrated. If I need to calibrate again, or if I have not calibrated initially, I can use the measure mode to recalibrate. As my site is already calibrated, I do not need to do so. Once I have my site calibrated, my next step will be to draw any attenuating factors onto my floor plan. This can be either walls or areas. Let's start with the wall function. To draw a wall on the floor plan, I will click on the small brick wall button at the top of the screen. This brings up a drop down menu on the right hand side. I can choose from a number of different wall types, all with their own attenuation factors. In my case, most of my walls are drywall. I will now begin clicking and drawing the walls on my site. The more accurately I draw my walls, the more accurate my final planning activities will be. If I need to change a wall after I've drawn it, I can select the wall, go to Properties, and now I can adjust either the color that the wall is shown on or the dB attenuation drop through that wall. Air Magnet recommends using the default values unless you have measured the attenuation of the wall yourself in addition to drawing walls, I can also draw attenuation areas. Attenuation areas are helpful for large blocks of space with a similar attenuation pattern. It can save me time rather than drawing a series of walls with the wall tool. For example, I have a large block of cubicles towards the top of my floor plan. I will choose the Create Rectangular Attenuation Area and from my available attenuation types, I will choose cubicle. Note that the numbers displayed for attenuation area represent a built-in attenuation index for each type of space. While it is similar to the dB values of the walls, the attenuation index refers to the effect of an area on wireless coverage, whereas the dB drop referred to an immediate decrease over a single spot through the wall. While a higher attenuation index does indicate a greater drop, this value is not identical to a dB value. I have now set up my cubicle area as a cubicle attenuation area. I will continue to draw the walls on my floor plan to prepare my site for planning. Now that I have all my walls and areas set up, I can begin to place my access points onto the floor plan. To place an AP, I click on the Create AP button. Now when I click on the floor plan, an access point will be placed there. Any access point I place will have values according to the current default AP settings. I can change these AP settings by selecting an access point, right-clicking, and choosing AP Properties. Within the AP settings, I can choose what bands, what channel, as well as what antenna my AP is using. If desired, I can also change the height off the floor that the AP is currently mounted. Finally, I can adjust my transmit power. This transmit power can be set differently depending upon the band if I so choose. And click OK. Having configured one access point, if I would like all other access points in the deployment to start with this same base configuration, I can again right click on the access point and choose Default AP. Now any additional access points I place will have the same default value as the one I just placed. I will place a few more access points onto my floor plan. Currently all my access points are on the same channel. As I know that will cause a great deal of interference, I will now go through and try and move them around the channels.
With my access points placed and their channels assigned as I desire, I can now look at my coverage. To generate my planning heat map, I can click on the Refresh button at the top. I can now see a heat map of signal strength for the access points I have placed at the powers I have set. If I want to filter and view by channel, I can do so on the left hand side. At this point, I will enter an iterative process of placing and moving APs, evaluating my coverage both on this display and with the Airwise function until I have the coverage plan that I desire for my deployment. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for choosing Air Magnet Survey Pro.